With Citus farming finally getting large, there is a legit way to earn Citus tokens passively. But how much money do you need to make it profitable? So let's say in a month, $1,000, $5,000 or maybe just $100 is enough. Well, I know for sure. So, are you a Citus token holder looking to earn some extra rewards? Well, you're in luck because Citus farming is now up and running. And the best part? Well, you don't have to commit to any restricted time periods. You can just manage your tokens exactly how you want to. But wait, how is that possible? The thing is, Citus farming is using shadow technology, which allows you to keep your liquidity provider, shortly LP tokens, in your own wallets while still receiving rewards for them. Well, magic, right? You can learn more about this innovative feature on the official blog and I'll leave the link in the description below. If you are new to farming, well, don't worry, we've got you covered with our easy to follow guide. So, ready to start farming Citus? Well, just head over to citusheroes.com slash farming to begin with. The first step is to connect your MetaMask wallet to the page, which you can download on a mobile application or browser extension on metamask.io. Of course, the link will be in the description below. If you don't have MetaMask yet, well, just don't worry, because setting it up is just a breeze. And besides, they have a helpful guide on how to do this and, you know, where to look for the link. So, you will need ETH to use Citus Farming. Click Buy in your MetaMask and choose the appropriate top-up option. And then just follow the instruction. Once your wallet is connected, you'll be able to see any LPs you have. Just simply press Start Farming and your wallet will prompt you to agree to a fee to initiate farming. Well, sometimes it could be quite costly, especially when the Ethereum network is busy. But after that, just confirm the transaction and voila, you are now officially farming Citus. Adding liquidity is an essential part of the farming process, and it is also essential to understand how to do it correctly. If you are already farming in Citus slash Rupt Ethereum pool on Uniswap, your farming status will show as farming is active once you connect your wallet to the farming page. However, if you have no liquidity, your farming status will read liquidity required. But well, not to worry. Adding liquidity is also easy. Just click the Add Liquidity button and you'll be redirected to the Uniswap platform while well, you'll need to connect your wallets. Then, you'll need to add Citus token and Wrapped Ethereum to the pool in equal proportion and then get LP, so liquidity provider tokens, in return. Okay, if you already hold Citus tokens, just feel free to skip this part. However, if you don't have any Citus, just don't worry. You can get some on Uniswap. Just follow the link provided and you'll be able to buy Citus in no time. Pick the number of Citus tokens you want to buy. You will see the price in Ethereum. Press confirm once you're happy with the transaction. Next, you'll be asked to confirm the swap and the transaction in your wallet. After a brief processing time, the transaction will be submitted. If you want to save some money on fees, well, you just can always buy Citus on centralized exchanges like KuCoin. First, you will need to register on the exchange and get your CEX wallet. Just follow their instruction. When you buy something on a CEX, you will receive tokens on the exchange wallet. So just remember that you will need to transfer your Citus tokens from the exchange wallet to your MetaMask wallet. Just, again, follow the exchange's extraction. If Citus is not displayed in MetaMask after the purchase, you must add it manually. Just click Import Tokens, select Custom Token, and paste the Citus contract, which you can always find in the description. And now, things should work. Okay, let's finally pour some liquidity here. When approving Citus, you'll be offered to see a sending cap. So, set it close to the amounts you plan to use as liquidity or a bit more significant. Then approve the usage of Citus token by the smart contract and you can press the supply button to complete the process. Please note that you'll need to pay gas fees when adding liquidity and confirming transactions in your wallet. 
well, they'll be huge and painful, so just brace yourself. Also, Uniswap will offer you to add Uni V2 token to your wallet, so you can keep track of your LPs. Well, I recommend doing so. Next, just go back to the liquidity adding process and get your LPs. Let's check your MetaMask wallet and see if you got some new tokens called Uni V2. These tokens are distributed by Uniswap as a reward for providing liquidity. And there are the very LP tokens that you're using to farm extra status tokens. Moving on, once you're done checking your wallet, just sit back and relax. The system will take around 10 to 20 minutes to upgrade the page with your farming stats. So just grab yourself a coffee or take a short break. When you're back, you'll be able to see your farming status, liquidity, expected profit in the next 30 days based on your current pool share, and also pending profit since the last harvest. And here's the best part, guys. So Citus Farming has a $1 million reward pool, which will be distributed over two years. So for every block, approximately 88.94 in Citus tokens are accrued to farming pool participants, depending on their share of the pool, of course. While the size of the reward per block never changes, the shares do change based on the number of participants in their shares in the pool. And yeah, this is why the Citus Farming APR is dynamic and constantly changes every time someone adds or withdraws liquidity. So it's like a race for rewards, guys. But one thing to keep in mind is that shadow technology is being used and your LP tokens are stored in your wallet. And yeah, you can freely dispose of them whenever you want to, which means you can withdraw them or add more tokens to the wallet. The system just will recalculate your rewards and you'll see the changes on the page. So don't hesitate to make any changes as per your requirements. So exciting, isn't it? But get ready to reap some sweet rewards, guys. And it's just easy. Just look for the darkened harvest button on the same page and wait for it to become active every 30 days. Click on it and the rewards will go straight to your wallet. But wait, there is even more. As Genesis NFT Heroes holder, you get to enjoy even more bonuses depending on your NFT rarity. So, common Genesis NFTs get a 3% LP balance bonus. Epics get a 10% bonus. And Legendaries get a whopping 50% bonus. So, let's do a quick math here. Say your total liquidity is like $1,000 and you have one Legendary, 50% and two epics, 20%. That means your total liquidity just increased by 70% to $1,700. Just much wow. To become a Genesis NFT holder, simply purchase an original NFT from the Citus NFT Heroes collection. Want to pick the hero of your desired rarity? Just look for the respective sign in the right toolbar. SO for common, S1 for epic, and S256 for Legendary. Besides, you can lock your NFT card for 365 days to receive an in-game character. And yeah, even if your NFT is locked in Citus, you'll be eligible for a bonus. The best part is, you can produce a new hero every single year. So, ready to unlock these exclusive bonuses and earn more as a Citus farmer? Well, just purchase a Genesis NFT and start claiming your rewards. Okay, as you could already understand, Citus farming will require some money to start. So, how much money do you need to invest in, well, considering the high fees, to make it profitable, let's say, in 30 days? Let's do simple math here. So, activating farming will cost you around $9. Approving Citus is another $5. Supply and liquidity costs at least $15. In total, you'll spend around $30 just for fees. Next, harvesting rewards, and it will cost you $5 on top. And if you decide to remove liquidity, well, be ready to spend a whopping $30. So you need from $35 to $65 to enjoy farming. As the total value locked is getting bigger, well, pretty fast, let's assume the APR will drop to around 200% in the common month. So, if you don't plan to remove liquidity, you'll need $500 to make $50 net profit. However, if you do plan to remove liquidity, 
well, at at least $1,000 to get a 100 net profit. In case you are a proud owner of $100 to $200, well, don't even try. Or at least you can put this money for a long period, well, likely until the rewards run out. Personally, I would farm for at least three months while APR is quite high. But don't forget that crypto farming always contains risks. Well, despite shadow technology making funds absolutely safe, well, there's still a chance to face impermanent losses. I suggest you find out what it is, then basically Binance had a good explanation on this topic. Overall, Cedos farming is a great earning opportunity I wouldn't skip, but the rest is up to you guys. Well, who knows, maybe their next step is Senate farming.